You know, on Fridays, we try and look at uh, not just the uh, normal, super important stories of our times, but also the, um, the social influences on the world and uh, how it affects us, right? Because we all have to deal with the stuff that is going on around us. And when you think of one of the things that suddenly is a part of our world, it's cosmetic medical procedures. Everybody's either getting them or thinking about getting them or knows somebody who has. And when you think of these procedures, you tend to think of medical or at the very least uh, licensed professional, right? Uh, that is performing these for you, right? Well, guess what? Just when you didn't think something like this could happen, there's now a do-it-yourself move underway in the world of cosmetic procedures for our faces and for our bodies. Wow. Here is RT's Trinity Chavez. From skincare to Botox to lip fillers, some people are trying to save money by doing their own cosmetic procedures at home. Medical experts say that this is a growing trend, but it's a dangerous one. I'm just going to do a little bit more here. Some say the desire for that perfect pout and flawless skin has never been greater, but now many are turning to the internet, buying cosmetic chemicals online and injecting them into their face and body. Trying to make it as even as possible. Some even watching do-it-yourself YouTube videos showing step-by-step -step how to do the procedures without a licensed professional. You know, in my 15 years of practice, I've never seen something so frightening and irresponsible as somebody purchasing a product they have no idea or knowledge about on the internet and sticking it into their faces using a needle. But despite the dangers, DIY videos are popping up all over YouTube and social media. Cosmetic chemicals and fillers available for purchase on the black market and other websites. RT found this anti-aging treatment with hyaluronic acid, a temporary dermal filler used by plastic surgeons and other professionals, for sale for $142 on Amazon, complete with a syringe. Alibaba selling it too, advertising this injectable filler for a whopping 38 bucks. The availability of these fillers online in the black market has really um, started this very dangerous trend of people purchasing these products illegally and not knowing anything about them, whether they're contaminated, what they're made up of. But it doesn't stop there. Plastic surgeons say they have also seen many try to concoct their own chemical peels. The results had damaging effects. Somehow these patients are able to go on their own on the internet and order a 35% or 50% uh, TCA peel or a glycolic. That's an insane percentage. They can only really hurt somebody. You know, you're supposed to dilute these things. And they put it on their skin, and it's not that much different than if they just held the lighter up to their face. Like, they end up burning off that skin layer. Uh, and it's pretty devastating, the things that I've seen. Experts citing the rise of social media as one of the driving forces behind the surge in cosmetic procedures. And then go directly onto your lips. According to the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, last year, almost 18 million people had some sort of cosmetic procedure done, including Botox injections and lip fillers. And if not done properly by a licensed medical professional, there could be extremely dangerous consequences. The dangers in the face are that you can cause nerve weakness, nerve paralysis, you can inject the vessel and you can kill the skin. Uh, those are the really bad ones, and the, even the not-so-bad ones, you can have permanent problems with lumps, bumps, asymmetry, growing masses in your face over the course of your lifetime. It never goes away. While some DIY videos have been removed from YouTube, they are oftentimes replaced with more of the same kind of content. Meanwhile, the FDA and other medical professionals continue to warn against dermal fillers being sold online. Reporting in New York, Trinity Chavez, RT. So you haven't heard that we're the ones covering the stories that you won't see covered anywhere else? In Venezuela, Kazakhstan, let's go to Hong Kong. And the media reaction to that has been crickets. How about the way we cover those stories? What the hell does that mean? Huawei, Huawei, Huawei. That's the key word in this case, uprising. Keep? Can you believe that? Watching. This is the right thing for members of the media to do, to actually pick sides. Look, if you like what you see, subscribe.